just a matter of time. Uh, they'll find, find this guy. Where's 31-year-old Jeremiah Searless? That's what those who live near the Fairfield County Jail annex from which he escaped want to know. How did he get out of there? How did he have that kind of time? You don't go over razor wire in 15 seconds. You don't do that. It's not like you're jumping a hurdle. You, you got to put some time and effort into it without getting yourself killed. Today was filled with searches that span Fairfield, Perry, and Hocking counties as well as Columbus. Neighbors are convinced Searless is anywhere but here. There was uh, some searches done around the area out here in, uh, by the Sheriff's Department and, and uh, the choppers overhead. And, and uh, so they, they did a real thorough search. So, you know, you know I, I think he's gone. Meantime, attention is turning to security at the annex. They need to do something about that, and it, it's just, it's been laxed. The Fairfield County Sheriff's Office has only been using this jail annex for four months, and they've already had their first escape. I asked Sheriff Dave Phelan if he finds that concerning. He says obviously they do find it concerning, and they'll have to analyze exactly what happened and what should have been done to prevent this from happening in the first place. There's also questions about what Searless was doing at the annex, considering he was one of her felony deviant sexual assault out of Missouri. Phelan says this annex only houses those charged with misdemeanors, and when Searless was originally booked here on February 7th, it was on several misdemeanors. He says it's unclear when they found out he was wanted on more serious charges out of state. They should have known that before they put him in that institution. 